Windows versus Linux. One dominates desktops, the other powers most of the internet, supercomputers and even Android. Both have strengths, weaknesses and very different philosophies. So, which one is right for you? Windows is closed source and owned by Microsoft, meaning you need to pay for a license or it comes bundled with new PCs. Unless, you know. Linux, on the other hand, is legally free to use and open source, so anyone can see and modify the code. That's why Linux has such active communities and forums. Many of the people answering questions don't work for Linux. They're just regular users or developers who help improve the software. Windows is the default operating system on most laptops and desktops. People have used it their whole lives, so there's no learning curve. Linux offers more control, but can feel unfamiliar at first. Modern distros like Ubuntu or Linux Mint are beginner friendly, but Linux uses different file structures and often relies on the terminal for advanced features. Windows supports the biggest apps, Microsoft Office, Adobe software, and most AAA games. Companies develop primarily for Windows because it's the largest desktop market share. Linux, on the other hand, has excellent open source tools like GIMP and LibreOffice. It's a favorite for programming and servers. For professional creative tools like Adobe or Photoshop, Linux users often need alternatives or workarounds. Gaming on Linux has improved massively thanks to Proton and Steam Deck, but some games with strict kernel level anti-cheat like Valorant or League of Legends still won't run. GPU performance can also slightly differ. Windows drivers are usually better optimized for gaming, while Linux is often preferred for programming and GPU-heavy workloads like AI and machine learning. Windows is a bigger malware target because it dominates the desktop market. Attackers always go where the users are. Historically, Windows also had weaker permission settings, and it collects telemetry by default. Telemetry is data sent back to Microsoft about your PC's usage, crashes and performance, helpful for diagnostics but something many users see as privacy invasive. Linux benefits from open source scrutiny, meaning anyone can inspect the code for security flaws. It also has a stronger permission model. Programs can't just make system level changes without root access. Out of the box, Linux often has fewer open ports because fewer background services are running. That reduces the attack surface compared to a fresh Windows install. But no system is invincible. If Linux became as popular as Windows, malware would follow. Attackers write malware for the biggest audience and, as Linux grows, it will inevitably become a bigger target. Windows is more resource heavy, running many services in the background. New Windows PCs often come with bloatware, extra manufacturer apps and trial programs you didn't ask for. These can clutter the system, take up storage and slow performance. Linux distros, on the other hand, are typically lightweight, some can even run smoothly on very old hardware. Even machines with less than one gigabyte of RAM. Updates also work differently. Windows often forces updates and restarts your PCs at inconvenient times. Linux gives you full control over when to update, but there's a trade-off. Updates can break things if you're not careful. Linux quietly runs the world. 96% of the top 1 million web servers and every single one of the top 500 supercomputers use it. Even Android is built on Linux. But on desktops, Windows still rules around 70% market share. And another thing, Linux can run as a fully working operating system straight from a USB stick, not just an installer. You can carry all your files and settings with you. Something Windows used to support for enterprises, but discontinued in 2020. So why do people switch? One big reason is that Windows 10 support officially ends in October 2025. For many users, Windows 10 still works perfectly well on their PCs. But upgrading to Windows 11 isn't an option. Microsoft's new operating systems have stricter hardware requirements, needing newer CPUs and TPM 2.0. TPM, or Trusted Platform Module, is a small security chip and stores encryption keys and supports features like BitLocker and Secure Boot. Many older PCs don't have this chip or have disabled it by default so they can't officially upgrade to Windows 11. So rather than buying brand new hardware, some users are choosing to install Linux instead. There's also growing frustration with telemetry, ads, and forced updates on Windows. Linux appeals to people who want more control over their system and privacy. And switching is slowly getting easier. 
New tools like Operese aim to make migrating from Windows 10 to Linux simpler, even transferring files and settings automatically. Finally, it's not just individuals making the move. Governments like Denmark have started reducing their reliance on Microsoft software as part of a push for digital independence. Switching tools like Office to open source alternatives such as LibreOffice, showing a broader trend towards open source solutions. And why people stay? For most people, Windows is simply the easier choice. It's the default on almost every PC, so many users have been using it for their entire lives. Everything just works the way they expect. Windows also offer the best software and gaming support. Microsoft Office and Adobe Creative Suite, and the vast majority of AAA games are built primarily for Windows. Hardware compatibility is another big advantage. Windows is designed to support a huge range of devices, and peripherals like printers, webcams, and gaming accessories usually work straight away thanks to plug-and-play drivers. For a lot of people, that convenience outweighs the benefits of switching to Linux. So whether you stick with Windows or try Linux, both have their strengths, and in 2025 that choice matters more than ever. It will be interesting to see how both systems grow and compete in years to come. And thank you for listening. I hope you've got something from this, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe.